Good afternoon, SHS, and welcome back. My name is Nephi Paya. My name is Parker Sego. And I'm Haley Clark. And will everyone please stand for a moment of silence? <laughs> Please continue standing and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance to the Texas state flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And Haley will start us off with announcements today. Alrighty. The SSS the September is Mexico's Independence Day. Father Miguel Hidalgo made the first cry for independence from Spain by ringing the church bell in the town of Dolores and urging the citizens to revolt. As per tradition, on the evening prior to Mexico's Independence Day, the president honors the legacy of Father Hidalgo by stepping out on the balcony of the presidential palace in Mexico City and reciting the words of Father Hidalgo. The speech ends with him shouting the words, Viva Mexico, or Long Live Mexico. As he rings the bell, just as Father Hidalgo did back in 1810. Happy Mexican Independence Day. Well, your favorite part of the announcements? It's the weather update. It's not as hot this week, and we still have those possible showers, which we did have those showers. Uh, there is a tropical system that developed near the Bahamas. It is predicted to go either towards Florida's east coast or to go over Florida and into the Gulf. If it travels into the Gulf, look for showers later in the week. We will monitor this as it progresses. And students who are not currently enrolled in dual credit need to sign up in the counselor's office by Monday, which is today. So go sign up if you haven't. Del Mar representatives will be on campus tomorrow, September 17th, to help with Apply Texas. Students who have not signed up by Monday will not be called Tuesday. And speaking of dual credit classes, if you are not currently enrolled in dual credit, you must pass the TSI and complete Apply Texas by September 17th. TSI information. Students interested in taking the TSI test must complete the following procedures for the test. First, students must attend tutorial test prep with designated teachers. For English, it's Ms. Dow and Ms. Garza. and math, it's Mr. Pajowski or Mr. P. Tutorial times are as follows. English, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 4.15 to 5.15, and math, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 4.15 to 5.15 as well. Second, the teacher will approve and register students for TSI test once test preparation requirements have been met. And for those of you who are interested in art, love making art, and have original artwork, Ms. Jagger will open up the art room on Mondays, so this afternoon, to anyone wanting to practice for visionarios. She will be available until 5 p.m. And if you're interested in being on the Sinton High School Challenge team, please talk to Ms. Arnold. Uh, they practice in the mornings from 7.15 to 7.45 and meet in room 36 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The team eventually participates in the KED TV challenge game against other area schools. And this week's dress up theme for our game against the Beeville Trojans is Neon Day. Yay. The best dressed duo will be judged by Mr. Byram, Mrs. Hesseltine, and Miss Valerio. The winner gets some sort of prize. So, you got highlighters, just strap them on your chest, you know, just be neon. Super bright. And our announcements are filmed a day in advance normally. On days we don't have Friday advisory, they're filmed on Thursday. So we're sometimes a little behind. We apologize to our sports people, but we do the best we can. With that being said, all three Lady Pirate teams won in sweeps at Orange Grove in their district openers on Tuesday. Courtney Hasseltine was last week's CC Caller Times Athlete of the Week, and Autumn Moses is nominated for that honor this week. The Lady Pirates play Rockport tomorrow night at home at 5. Come out and support them. Cross Country is doing well with six runners coming away with medals from the Malakite Beach Race. Josh Gonzalez was first in his third straight meet. Justin Ramirez, fourth. Nathaniel Aguirre, eighth. Marcus Villarreal, eleventh. Annie K, fifth. And Emily Revia was thirteenth. 
We'll have this weekend's results on tomorrow's announcements. And for today's thought of the day, it is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle. Um, Aristotle lived about 384 BC to 322 BC and was an ancient Greek philosopher and scientist who is still considered one of the greatest thinkers in politics, psychology, and ethics. That's one cool dude. He, he gets a hat tip. Yeah, okay. Um, that concludes today's announcements, and thank y'all for watching, and don't forget to stand up whenever we do the pledges, because not only are you listening to us, but you're supposed to be respecting the country. That's it. Thank you, and have a great day. Go Pirates!